this is a one fall 30 minute time limit match. Gary Hart presents over to my right in the white corner weighing 287 pounds, the Dingo Warrior. And to my left, in the red corner, former Texas heavyweight champion, weighing 237 pounds, Brian Adias. Ralph Pulley, your referee. What a night we have had. As we go into our next bout. Here we go, referee stance between the Dingo and Brian Adias, like I mentioned, Gary Hart uh, was in a rush to get to the back. Some important phone call may be involving this person that uh, we're talking about who will be involved in this World Tag Team Tournament at the Convention Center. Now, pardon me if I'm running low on voice. That last one took a lot out of me. Body slammed by the Dingo. Next week, Henrietta and Corsican will be with us. We'll have exciting world-class news. Keep your eyes open for Ruffhauser Lumberjack Joe LaDuke on his way in with Percy Pringle. This Camara will be in Friday night on that big sportatorium card, the biggest in six or eight weeks in Big D. Don't forget next Saturday night, right here on Channel 11, on the Championship Sports Telecast, we will have the special feature, which will be the World Tag Team title drawing which will be done for the press, the various magazines and whoever else is there, to pick the pairings of these great teams that I talked about during the television main event. That's next week. This uh, Fujinami is familiar to fans. You saw him at a reunion not long ago. Late frog, Brian with a big drop kick, and the dingo is backed into the near rope. He is the all-Asian champion, one of the world's greatest talents, and a top contender for the world belt, which is why he's in the belt. Remember now, those local teams that are involved in this drawing, which will take place, and you will see here on Channel 11, Kevin and Mike Von Erich, Bruiser Brody and Lance Von Erich, what a team that is, Chris Adams and Steve Simpson, Sawyer and Bourne, the maniac and the mad dog, the Dingo and Gary Hart's newest man, the third piece of this three-piece puzzle. Rick Rude, Joel Duke, Kevin Sullivan, and his partner. He's one of the out-of-town names. He won't be involved in this drawing. Keller Brooks and the Great Kabuki. Brad and Bart Batten. Chris and Mark Youngblood. Scott Casey and Brian Adias. Remember now, three other tournaments just like this one, with pairings and drawings and everything to set the pairings, are taking place around the country. It'll all come to a head Labor Day. Get your seats at all Rainbow Ticketmaster outlets. Heard a lot of comments from wrestling fans about this dingo and about his stature, his size, his strength, and what a bright future he has ahead of him. Look at Brian and this. Roll him up for two. Brian Adias has done something that nobody else has done, but I don't know if that's good or not. He may have made the big man mad. I had a woman asked me last week, why do you like Gary Hart so well? Well, when I compliment Gary Hart, it's on his abilities as a manager. Now, I'm not telling you that Gary is a fine person or that he's a bad person. That's for you to decide. That's not my job. I'm here to point out the abilities he has, whether it's teaching, whether it's communicating, whether it's finding talent, whether it's covering up some of the things that uh, his people do. Gary Hart is a force to be reckoned with, and Gary, I'm afraid, uh, much to the dismay of other parties, may be in the prime of his career. Here's Brian Adias, turned by the warrior, comes back to splash. The dingo backs up a little, stops him, grabs him, down over the knee. And yes, I know I sound terrible. I'm sorry. But that last bout was something like I have never seen, and I have seen some beauty. Here's Brian Adias back into a clothesline, and down he goes. That drawing is going to be a special feature here on Channel 11.
this has made us forget about the tape sabotaging, and I think Percy Pringle needs to be held accountable for that, and hopefully we haven't heard the last of it. Here's the dingo from behind. He's grabbed Brian. Brian's hanging on that rope. And the dingo jerks the rope away. Downtown, the fabulous Tarrant County Convention Center. Monday night, September 1st, Labor Day, 86. All of the special festivities begin at 2.30, wrestling at 5 o'clock on the annual holiday extravaganza. One of my favorite buildings. Dingo! With the purple tights and purple paint on the face, Brian Aeneas is strong. The Dingo pounds the chest, charges, but Brian Aeneas was there and ready. Dingo took too long. Remember, Gary Hart is not here. He's tied up in the back. Here's Brian Aeneas taking him out, laser right to the face. Dingo thrown left side, rebound, drop kick by Brian Aeneas. Dingo falls into the rope. He did not go completely down, but the rope stopped him. Your referee is Ralph Foley. He's on top of things as Brian charges. But the dingo is there with a clothesline. One, two, three. The dingo is a winner. Five.